Hello, my name's Karine and I'm part of the Jamaica Inn Paranormal Team and I specialise in the research and history. And I'd like to say welcome to the Jamaica Inn. The Jamaica Inn, of course, owes its fame to the famous author Daphne du Maurier. In 1930, as many of you may have read the story, she came and stayed with her friend Foy and, borrowing a couple of horses from the stables, decided to visit a lady across the bleak Bodmin Moor. When they were making their way back, the mist and the rain came across the moor and they couldn't see where they're going, so they took shelter in a ruined building and a friend came up with a wonderful idea. She said, let the horses direct us back to the inn, which they did. And they gradually appeared up the hill and the manager of the inn was stood outside with a lantern and she stayed for a couple of days to recover. But it was the following year, November 1931, she came to Jamaica Inn again and the Vicar of Aldringham and Mr Charles Triplett joined her for afternoon tea. He regaled her with stories of wreckers and smuggling, inspiring her to write Jamaica in the book. This decision put this little smuggling in on the world map and has been known ever since because of that connection. Why is the inn haunted? The first recorded sighting was in 1911, when a man dressed in strange clothing was sat outside on the wall. When locals tried to make conversation with him, he ignored them and just simply vanished. This made the local newspapers and then carried on with sightings down the years. By the 1950s, when guests would retire to their bedchamber, they would come down in the morning and say to Mrs. Gross, the landlady, who's been in our room? Because someone has picked my clothes up from the floor, folded them neatly, and just laid them on the bed. No human did it. Then, of course, we had a famous ghost hunting show come here in 2004, and then it became, of course, a magnet for paranormal enthusiasts and investigators ever since. Now, for the last eight years, the Jamaica Inn Paranormal team have been collecting interviews, data, and we have a vast array of confirmed sightings, some that go back to the 1980s. So one of the most popular things that are seen are of course the tricorn hat man. He was last recorded in 2018. Black hair, black beard, ruffled shirt, breeches, high boots. The same description was given to me in 2016 and 2017 by independent witnesses. He is also seen outside room five, in room five, and we wonder if he's the shadow figure that stands in the doorway of the bathroom in room six. So room three, one of the nicest haunted rooms, is well known for the children. Housekeeping will go and clean the room. They always go back and check because they find child handprints in the mirrors in the bathroom. It's like a little game that's played. The sobbing woman and the crying baby is reported in that room. Women that tend to go and sleep in room three, few of them are reported crying, emotions, and a feeling of sadness. 
A little boy has been seen stood at the end of the bed as one unsuspecting lady woke up in surprise. Now room four is an interesting one. The tricorn hat man has been reported standing in the corner of the room by the window watching the unsuspected person asleep. Also, the hooded figure in the alcove was first reported in 2016. It's dressed more like a pilgrim than a religious figure. Now, he seems to have migrated to here in the lower restaurant and in room 34. Room five is probably the best known. It's known for Hannah. Now, Hannah is a folklore of a little girl, but we do know of children. We know of the tricorn man and an older woman in a mop hat. I've stayed in that room and had footsteps walk around the bed. One day, a gentleman stormed down to reception and demands to know who had put the wet child footprints on the carpet. Women also say of having their calf straight and of voices in the night. Now, room six, an interesting one. Are you brave enough to sleep with a bathroom door as the big shadow man watches you as you sleep? What makes the Jamaica Inn haunted as it is? Why do we continually get paranormal reports week in, week out? It's a fascinating study for ourselves as investigators, for investigators that come and visit and investigate themselves. But what is a ghost? We all want to discover the answer. And this place, every time you think you can answer a question, six more spring up behind it. I'm in room six at the moment, inside the Jamaica Inn. I have a locked off camera set up in the corner. Now, please forgive me on this one. If this goes down, Holy crap, I was gonna leave a bit of a mark. Um, because I forgot my tripod downstairs, I am resting that bad boy on top of a lampshade. So, I hope to God it doesn't fall. If it does fall, there's a good chance. A very, very good chance that it's just felt falling down because of how I have studied up. You know, not the stablest, but it's the only kind of angle I could get. And the ghost stands right here outside people's door. Um, just to quickly show, these lights will go off in a second. It is, they are on an automatic to um, sensor, but we do have a locked off camera just there down the bottom. Griff's obviously in room three which is obviously just round that corner. And yeah, I'm gonna leave him to it. So that's where one of the ghosts uh, stands. In this room that I'm in now, there's been talks of children playing games, um, women having their foes stroked, so, well, coughs and foes and a lot of calf rubbing anyway. Let's see if we can get anything to Touch my calf or my thigh. I mean, I had a little incident downstairs where we was doing the interview and literally something touched me on the neck twice and then like something ran up my leg. It was weird, but um, it did feel weird as well. And the owner of this land, the Scarwins, were merchants that traded with Jamaica and it was very fashionable for mariners when they retired to take on pubs. <laughs> What's the so matter? He just crawled up my leg. What? So he just crawled up your leg? Yeah, just like that. I was just standing there and I felt a little tip, tip, tip while she's talking and then it went up my leg like that and I went, whoa. Did it feel like dog-like? 
it just felt like little fingers type thing, like hand from Adam's Not hand. Not a child's <laughs> hand. <laughs> it did, honestly, yeah, it was weird. It was like I felt two taps here, and then I was like carried on this because I don't want to say anything. And then I felt that run up my leg like there to here, so from there to there. I and just then saw I went, your face. I've got to say, yeah, because that's what happened. I, went, I just went, and then I was there. So hopefully there'll be someone trying to touch my leg or I'll get to see a shadow figure. You know, it'd be really good. There's a lot of stories behind this place, a lot of anticipation. Prepare for the worst, hope for the best. Still stands out in these situations. So spirits of... I was going to say the ancient ramming. Spirits of the Jamaica Inn. Any spirits, any sirs, any misters? Anybody that would love to talk to me? I'm here. My name's Jason. If you can't understand me, tap once. We've heard a lot of stories today about how haunted the Jamaica Inn is. We've heard a lot of stories over the years how haunted this place is. And it's incredible to finally have the chance to film this place all on our own. If you're here with me, can you give me a sign? You've been told that you like to stand in this very position and watch people. Is it possible? that you could do that for me right now. Could you manifest in whatever way you can? Let's show the world that you are real, that the paranormal is real. My friend Stephen is in the other room, room six, and it's been reported that you, the big tall man, the one with the hat, have been seen up there outside the door. If you could walk up there to Stephen now and knock on his door twice. <laughs> First word of the night, and what a banger of a word it is, demon. Now, the team that look after this place, I don't believe there's anything demonic or anything evil here. They've said it's something very playful but wants to be, you know, wants to show people that there is something. Could you show yourself behind me? Would that be possible? Can you go and scare my friend Stephen? He's in room six. Everyone run, run, go, go. Scare him. Run down the corridor. Bang on the door and run back to me. Come on. Run, run, run. Come on.
just heard like a little knock come from the bathroom, but could just be me. Could the spirit that stands in this position and watches people, if you're here, can you, can you knock on this door for me, please? Like this. Is that at all possible? Hello? 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 Okay, that sounded like um something stroke. <laughs> sounded like something rattling in the corner. Just have a look. It's a fantastic building that you have and it's a pleasure to be here. Is there anybody that could show me around? Now, something's just touched my leg again. <laughs> Let me turn this around. Honestly, I, the, the thing is, is earlier I was touched on, like on my leg, and now I've been touched on the back of my calf, like literally, just like it's hard to show you because I'm on my own. But it's like something squirrels, like like that and I'm standing here in the open talking saying how nice the place is and then it's I've got pins and needles on my neck I thought I heard something then you know let me see if I can demonstrate it to you guys <laughs> It's mad to think saying this kind of stuff, and you, fucking, you look at yourself and you think, man, I'm fucking mad. Oh, that's not a good shot. So let me see if I've got this in shot. So look, that's the back of my leg, and it felt like, like, but just a, a gentle like stroke squeeze type. <laughs> so, like, like, like that. Like around my calf now I mean we can't completely say that it's like paranormal because I could have had a twitch in my calf or something like that but it genuinely felt like something just like that <laughs> could you do something to me I know I've heard a little noise over there could you do something physical to me could you touch me? Could you push me? I've actually seen a clip earlier of a lady's hair actually being flicked.
Sorry, someone touched me up. Sorry. You have my permission. Just don't make me tired. That's the only thing I don't want you to do. Don't make me go tired so I nearly fall to sleep. Yeah, my cough could have been a spasm. I hope not. I hope it was your spirit. Because I've been touched twice now, it feels like. Okay, before I go into the corridor, is there any chance that one of you could set the light off so I can go out there? The lights are on. It's just a display cabinet, isn't it? Just that one there. I mean, look how much light that gives off. Oh, no, that's what I mean. It's just that one. So we like our museums lately, don't we, guys? Yeah, we're big fans, to be honest. We're, we're all about the history now, guys. The day. I never thought you'd come. Alright. So, I'm just... Yeah, I'm shaking out. <laughs> the fear. No. Adrenaline. The tiredness. I'm literally, my body feels like it just wants to fall to the ground. We are in the museum, aren't we, Steve? We are. And we are going to call out for smugglers. I don't know. Well, you better start knowing. And then it's, what's her name? Carrier. Um, what is her name? So we're going to butcher a name right now of a very famous <laughs> historical figure. The person that's put the place on the map, um, um, Dame Daphne. Dame Daphne, I think, or something like yeah. that. I mean, um, th this place had a film made by Alfred Hitchcock. So, big stories about this place. Massive books, books for days. I mean, I'll be honest, I didn't know any of the history until I, I turned up today. And even then, the, I'm so overwhelmed with history, it's gone straight out the other ear. I've held on to a little bit, <laughs> and I'm telling you... You know, when it's like such an overload of information... Maybe that's why we're so tired. Yeah, because it's literally, we've been through a lecture, it feels like, <laughs> you know, you're trying to write <laughs> it in, <laughs> in a nice way. We've been through a... Um, a history lesson. A history lesson. We've, uh, a good one as well, you know, it's been a Karina. good story. This has been good, I've enjoyed every bit of it. She's very captivating with how she comes across with the words and the, and, um, the stories. Oh. But we've made it into the museum. We're going to call out. Bef bef now, what? I just thought I've seen a figure. It weren't. It, there's literally nothing even there. Just my eyes playing tricks. I think it's got to that time. Um, I read it. It looked like I've seen like little legs running underneath the door. <laughs> but it's nothing. That's a double take as well. But we're going to introduce ourselves, Spirit. I'm Steve. I'm Jason. Slash Griff. We spent a lot of time upstairs in some of the most haunted rooms and we didn't get much. So now we've come down into this section. A lot of artifacts, a lot of history, a lot of energy. Is there anyone in this room with us right now? Please don't be afraid, please come forward Come and talk to us. We've heard so many stories inside this place today. Can we add another ghost story to history? There's the, the spirit of this lady in here called What's she called, Jace? Dame Daphne. D Dame Daphne. Is the spirit of this lady... Satan. Oh, what the was that? Satan. Who was? I mean, I, I had, I think, demon when I was up in, the, in, in room six as well, and now Satan. Yeah. 
Remember, guys, this place hasn't got any links or anything to that side of things. It has now. Maybe that's air mark on the <laughs> on this place. Demon and Satan. So is the spirit of Daphne. Do you still visit this location? Could you move one of the objects inside this office of yours? Now we can't even get in there. The door is sealed shut. No one's even really allowed to go in there to touch you. So that'd be absolutely incredible if you could move something inside there. That was weird. What was it? Like something just tapped the wall behind me. I haven't moved. Inside there. That was weird. What was it? Inside there. That was weird. What was it? I, wonder, I thought he, he sounded like a noise vision click. You reckon, is there a camera above me? It could be this, could he? <clears throat> yeah. Let's see if we hear it again. Oh, I think that's like a sensor. Yeah. yeah. I think that's what that was. You still here? Something's crawling up my leg. Left leg. This one, right now. Something seems to like that left leg, don't they? No, no, it was my right leg before. Literally, I feel it now. Can you say anything? There's nothing there. Lights. Lights? You want lights, so... Yeah, it's like somebody's crawling up it right now. Can you say anything? No. It's really f***ing weird. Honest. It's like something going up my leg. I'll do it again. Just go like, do like right. a trickling up. Like, it's just like something's going, like walking up. I scared for it. Are you sure there's nothing there by my leg? There's nout. I haven't moved, I haven't done anything. It's half, it's still. No, I think it's done now. Spirit? Is that you touching my leg? If it is. Could you do something that buy me now? So I know that it's not me just going mad. We're not here to hurt you in any way. Okay, that is weird. You know that you said there was like something on the wall. Yeah. Um, it, it felt like it was down there when I heard it. Yeah, I've just heard something down there. It was like someone moving, like maybe a picture frame. Yeah. Like oh, they don't move. Yeah. It was like it was like creaking. Crump. I'm like, <clears throat> like a creaking noise. We're not here to hurt you in any way. Okay, that is weird. You know that you said there was like something. We're not here to hurt you in any way. Okay, that is weird. You know that you said there was like something. I've just like say I've just heard a noise right next to me. I mean it's nothing it's nothing like groundbreaking, not in the slightest, but it was help a <gasps> one's help now. One's help. Called us foolish earlier. Could have been different yes, spirit. Yourself. So spirit, if that's you making a noise on this wall in between me and state, could you make a louder one please? And if, if it is you that needs help, then we can help you, but you need to speak to us. We've come into the cinema, okay, moment in shot. 
Oh. Rem. Rem did go off. Rem did go off. And my camera was on him. It was a bit further out, but... Yeah. Come on then, if, you, if you're walking in... I know you're going to introduce us, but if we can capitalise on that. Yeah. So walk in then. Show us this energy that you've got. Could you... You hear that? It's just this chair I'm oh, sitting okay. on. We have just come into the theatre room. The REM pod was just going off as we were getting set up. We just called out and nothing else on that thing. Um, we investigated the main artefact section of the museum. Griff said he, he felt something run up his leg or something touching his leg or something like that. It's weird, isn't it? I've had like, I must have some kind of scoliosis coming on. Is it scoliosis? Something like that. I think we both heard something from the wall, like the exact same wall position. Of, originally, we just thought maybe it was a sensor or the, the security camera, but I heard it as well a bit later, and it was more down below, not up on top. But again, nothing, nothing groundbreaking, nothing that will change the paranormal uh, field. But we're just having a bit of a sit down inside this cinema room. If you want to take a seat, come and join us in here, you're more than welcome. to the bar. Spirit? Is there anything in this section with us? The hell was that? Just had a massive loud bang here. You heard a bang? Yeah, literally at this door. Well, looks like a door. Might have been the wind. But it was a loud doo -doo -doo. I can hear people. I can hear voices. I wonder if there's people outside. Could you try and scare us, please? Oh? It was like um like someone knocking a table. Yeah. I've got it looking down the uh, by the fireplace. Chase. What? I just heard like um like movement coming out of the corner. Let me just knock knock this down a sec. So I can actually walk with it. Something talking. Hello?
It's two o'clock in the morning. Me and Griff have finished the investigation. We've gone to bed. Griff's in room five, I'm in room six. And I'm gonna leave this camera facing the bathroom. And this is where the shadow figure's been seen. So they say, are you brave enough to keep the door open? And yeah, I think I'll be pretty cool. Um, just gonna jump into bed. This camera's gonna be rolling for about three hours. So until it, until it all dies on me, the memory card. So hopefully at that time it's gonna be about five in the morning. So our fingers crossed, something comes and yeah, we capture something paranormal. So that's it, that's, that's me done. All right guys, literally coming to room five. It's just me on my own now. I mean, I smashed my head right off the side. So I might have concussion and die in the night, who knows? Um, joking, obviously. Um, I'm gonna leave the camera up. It's gonna record me while I'm sleeping. You probably won't get to watch any of it, but hopefully something happens in the night and yeah, we hope you enjoyed this investigation. To be honest, it's a bucket list one that I've wanted on for a long time. And now it's done, but I do wanna come back here and I do wanna see if we can capture anything in the night. So it's the next one guys. Peace. Wish you all the best. And uh, hopefully we'll see uh, a figure in the night. <laughs>